Hello and welcome to our Smur P video and today we are looking at Power Rangers Lightning Collection Zeo Cog and why if you're a Zeo fan it is pivotal to pick this figure up. Now for those who may have remembered we originally got a two pack um, last year and I originally brought two packs and I recently brought another two pack because it was Twenty nine ninety nine on Forbidden Planet as part of a sale, so I grabbed a second pack. So that takes my total up to seven cards, which for me I feel like is a good number. However, even if I had brought lots of original packs, there is still a need to get this, and I will make a point of just in particular showing this one off against this one. Uh, this is the I guess the variant, the red version. There was always two cog versions, and just see if. See, I mean, looking at the box already, I'm not seeing much difference in terms of it. So in terms of the box, it looks pretty cool. Zeo Cog on the side there. Power Ranger Zeo there. Little promo shot on there and on there. And I'm hoping that if you're a minute box collection, this is going to be what you're thinking about. Although it does look like a Tuscan. Um, I, I, I particularly um, am looking forward to... The moment when the price drops in these, that's when I may buy some more from distributors at some point. Um, because let's be honest, the similar things happened with the Tengas as well. The Tengas, when they first came out, were ridiculously hard to get. Um, and then everywhere, you know, there's been some fabulous deals on Tengas over the last sort of six months. So um, let's get this figure out and have a closer look. Okay, so in terms of what this collects compared to the two-pack, everything is pretty much the same. You get a spare head, you get the small staff, you get a long staff, you get an open hand and a closed hand. Uh, the difference being with that that and the two-pack, two-pack you get a massive um, effect, which is here, and you also get the punchy effect, which is here, if you want it. Um, now, I guess the, the biggest reason why this is still pivotal, and I'm sorry, my seems to have gone dark outside, so I'm going to have to put the bigger light on just to add some, I don't know, some more light to this area. Otherwise, it's going to be a very dark review, not because I'm scary. Um, anyway, so the reason why this is pivotal. So those that brought um, all the Zero Rangers, all the Zero Rangers came with weapons apart from Rocky, the blue Zero Ranger 3, and he didn't come with it, even though it was part of the promo um, set, it didn't happen. So for this release, they have given us these, which are his weapons, which um, pretty much everybody has brought for these, I suspect. So, which is pretty cool, pretty darn cool, and I will show Rocky with them in a little bit. So in terms of these figures, what is the difference? Well... Let's have a closer look now. And sorry, this is probably the worst way I could have done it. This one, so this looks a very light gray, even though it's got dark tendencies throughout it. This one feel, feels and looks, you can see the difference in terms of the dark. It also has what looks like a little logo there going on, like it was um, another figure or something. So um, I guess that's the big difference. The heads seem to be the same, that beautiful shininess which I would have expected. Um, but it's mainly like an inconsistency on this one between this, whereas they've decided to make this a bit more consistent. Um, which is probably similar to the Gold Ranger when he was originally released as a San Diego pack. They, um, they re-released it and in some ways the re-release, some of the paint on that was slightly better so yeah, I guess now I've got three variants and I need to get some more of these to make it even out unless he's the leader he could be the leader why not why can't cogs have leaders so anyway so there's a comparison on there you also get these sort of like these little dots sort of flowing all the way through which are pretty awesome as well so um, I have no idea why they decided to change that sort of specific color scheme scheme but um I'm not entirely bothered by it at all. Um, if I'm being honest with you, it doesn't matter to me. These are henchmen, and as such, they are pretty cool. A little up and down. Got a butterfly effect in there, which is cool. The arm, if you can turn it, 
goes all the way around, swivel there. He's got a double joint on the arm there. He's got a turn there. He's got an upsy and a downsy there. He's got a turn, oh, very stiff turn there. He's got an ab crunch there. One likes an ab crunch, and sorry, I seem to be doing this weird voice thing today. Uh, he can not redo the splits. He's got a spinny there. He's got a spinny there. Lefty and a loose C. An up C and a down Z. And a double on the leg Z. Which is pretty cool. So from an articulation perspective, he is the bee's knees. So in terms of weapons, so he has the small stuff which we've seen before on the two pack and he could just hold that as if and then it would extend and I find it a shame that there's nowhere to place this on the body because I feel like that would have been pretty darn awesome you know but I guess if they're walking around they've got this like a could also be a little knife etc and then you've got the extended version which is um, a pretty decent size almost as tall as the figure itself and you know you can hold it in the middle there and just you know walk around now I, I there's two ways of looking at this I would have loved the gimmick of lifting this up I feel like that would have been cool but I also feel like the heads are actually very beautiful and if you do this you can get the other head on there so my biggest thing, and that's, you know, just the, the detail in there just looks phenomenal. Just look at that, it looks absolutely gorgeous all the way around in there. Is I would like an effect that were showing the blasts that come out of there. Because that was a, a pivotal thing that the cogs used to do. They just used to stop getting their stance and then just, hey, we're going to blow you up with our eyes. I don't know why they can shoot out there, why they had to lift the head up. But anyway, it's, it's there, it's cool, it looks awesome. So um, I dig that. So let's have a look at Rocky with um, hold. Oh, almost dropped in them holding his uh, his zero weapons finally. And there we have it, Blue Ranger finally having his weapons. Thank goodness, Rocky is finally able to fight the battles he was meant to fight. And I've got to say, these look just as good as what they were meant to be in the first place. So um. I'm not sure what happened back then, but Hasbro were either cutting costs or they weren't going to do it. I don't know, but they did a U-turn many, probably about a year and a half later, whatever it is. And I feel like it was worth the wait. These look very, very nice, very detailed, and just, they just make Rocky seem a tad bit cooler, which is pretty awesome. So I dig, dig them a lot. Here we go. And this is the sort of thing that you are looking for when you are army building your cogs. You want you want to have them beating the crap out of your zero rangers, or zero rangers beating the crap out of them, or making some really cool shots. And there's some great people out there that um, are very talented that create some fantastic shots. But um, yeah, very very. Um, very happy with the cog, very happy with the weapons, um, and at some point, hopefully, I'll get some more of these to have a great big machine empire, and I'll come take over the world. Anyway, if you do like my video, not because I'm taking over the world, um, please subscribe to my uh, channel, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you to those that already do, I appreciate you folks uh, a great deal. Uh, make sure you look after yourself, very important these days, and as always, Embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.